Product finding is one of the most important tasks for any dropshipping store and actually sometimes it takes a lot of time and it's very hard to find a good ideas for dropshipping products that we want to sell in our eBay stores to really become profitable. In this video I want to, show, to share with you one of the best product finding methods that I discovered around two months ago and I'm using in my stores right now so I want to reveal you the reverse products finding method that we discovered two months ago and actually it works for any supplier and any marketplace. Hello everybody, I'm so excited to show you this method, it will save you so much time and will make you really successful with much higher uh, profits from your products. So let's see how it works. We'll go to any random dropshipping site that I want to use, in this case, in case it's just Home Depot, just for the example, it doesn't really matter which site we want to use. So I will go to Home Depot, on the top we have the different categories, I will choose a random one, let's say that and we'll go to all departments and BEF for example. Why I choose this category? Because I don't want cheap categories, I want to make more profits on the, uh, on the uh, products that I find using this method and I want stable products, products that we can sell all over there and they will sell for us more and more and more. So if I went to BEF, I want to uh, overview a bit the category, I want to just have a little bit understanding of what's going on in this category so I'll just go and scroll a little bit a little bit in this uh, category just to see what's going on here. So after I got some uh, idea about what's going on in this category I will go to a site which is called watch count. After that I will choose the category here on the right, that is uh, right for the site that I'm using. In this case it's Home Depot, so I will go to Home and Garden. Actually if I would search for example for toys, so I would go uh, to category of toys. If I, something like for uh, things like kids, things like this, I would go for this category. It just depends on which uh, things are you searching for. So in this case, again, as I said, I'm choosing the home and garden and the marketplace of US. Then I will go to the category that I chose before and I will just take the name of the category. I will not, not take any specific keyword, it should be something really general, so I will just take Beth. Put under the keywords, show me. And then let's see what we see here. So first, as I said, I want to, uh, in this method, to uh, focus on more expensive products. So this one, not good for me, it's tower, not good, not good, not good. This one is great, it's $129. Let's see what we have with this product. First of all, I can choose, check the image and see that it's really reminding me something that I saw before. I can see that before I saw really similar things to this one. So actually, maybe I will find something similar in this site. Then I will go to the product, open it. And the first thing that I will do is to check the quality and the level of the, sell of the seller to know if I can compete with them or not. In this case, I can see that the seller has only 300 feedbacks. So even new sellers can compete with him. You don't need thousands of feedbacks to compete with seller who has only 300 feedbacks, it's really easy to compete with them. The next thing that I will check is if this product continue to sell until now. So I will click on the amount of sold that I see here and I will check when is the last time that it sold and actually I can see that it was 5 days ago, then it was 10 days before this, 10 days before this, 1 day. So actually this product really sells uh, well. So I would go and try this product because I want to find as many products as possible for the long term. So, by the way, we can also see here 18 people viewed uh, per day, which is super cool and it means that this product is really hot right now. I will go and take the title of the product, then I will go to the site that I want to uh, source from, uh, in this case it's Home Depot, and put the title here. And let's see what we found. First of all, I want to say that I didn't prepare something before the video. I just made the research now with you. So 
So we can see a really similar product, maybe it's even the same product here. And yeah, it looks very similar, maybe the same product. I can see that this product cost $79 while this one cost $129. So if I take $129 multiply, let's say that we have tax. Okay, so this seller does around $20, $25 profit per sale, which is amazing for us. We can see that um, the products are pretty similar. So actually, what we can see here, I didn't want to copy the same product. I just wanted to take ideas and find cheaper products for sell, to sell uh, than the one that I found from this site that people are watching him. We know that he has a lot of watchers. So we want to copy his product with cheaper prices and compete with him. We can also copy his keywords and see what we can improve in their title using Title Builder or any similar different uh, tool. So what we see here, we can just copy this product, list to our store and compete with the seller that we saw before. Then you can take actually the whole niche. I wouldn't take only one product, I would take the whole niche click extract and just list all of these products with bulk upload because I know that these products are selling well. We saw it on the watch count site and we saw that we really can compete even with the prices with a different seller. I can also then go to the seller and see other ideas from the sell same seller to make even more profit and get even more dropshipping, hot dropshipping products. See you in the next videos. I'm really happy to share this method with you. I'm sure that it will help you a lot to increase your profits and make huge profits with your dropshipping business. For any question, I'm here under the video. Just ask in the comments uh, section. Don't forget to subscribe for this YouTube channel and like this video. Share with your friends. Bye-bye.